hello everyone i welcome you to my channel and i welcome you to today's photoshop tutorial in today's video i'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how i designed this birthday flyer in adobe photoshop so first things first open adobe photoshop and then go to your file click on new and then give your project a name great all right now that you've given our project a name Let's leave the rate at 8 and then leave the height, change the height to 9 and then leave the unit at inches just like you are seeing and then the resolution should be at 300 and then leave everything else the way it is and then click on create. Alright now that we are done creating our document, now head over to the view and then click on new guide and then change the position to 10% and then click on ok, go back again new guide and then this time around 90 percent click on ok and then go back to view new guide 10 percent and then this time around toggle the horizontal orientation and click on ok now let's do it one more time 90 percent and then ok now what we just did is um, creating a guide around our document right now we want to make sure that whatever we are going to do on this particular working area we don't exceed the lines around the borders that's the uh, the main reason why we leave or i set the guys so the next thing you're going to do is to create our background so head over to your folder now i'm going to link this folder in the description of this video below so you can check it out all right so drag and drop this image good then stretch it out like this perfect now make sure you lock it all right now let's go back again and then drag and drop this image also good I'll stretch it out like this all right now right click on the image the second image and then click on rasterize and then go to image go to adjustments and then go to color balance here right like this and then change these numbers to all right so first of all change the first 0 to plus 22 and then the second one should be minus 55 and then the last one should be minus 47 and then you click on k all right now go back to the image click on adjustment and then click on color balance again and then click sorry toggle the shadows under the tone balance toggle the shadows and then increase this to the magenta side like this move the slider all the way like this to minus 84 or 85 all right and then click on ok now with the image selected go to your eraser tool right click on it and then click on eraser tool let's increase the size bits okay so let me do it 2000 pixels all right now let's get rid of the middle part once good all right so the next thing we are going to do is to bring in our image so we'll go back to your folder and then drag and drop your image like this all right right click on it to rasterize now with this image you know you can see a background you know that the back the image has a background so we need to get rid of the background now in order to do that one way one of the easiest way is to click on the image, go to select and then click on subject. Now this is going to highlight the picture itself and then leave the background to um, stand alone. Alright, now on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus G to duplicate the image and get rid of the original one because we don't want it. Good. Now go back to your eraser tool. And then decrease the size good 
Now let's get rid of the lower parts of the image because we don't want that parts. Good. So let's just drag the image like this. Awesome. Now with the image selected, press on Ctrl plus G to duplicate the image and then merge them together. So select the lower image, the one, the original one, and then press on shift on your keyboard and then select the upper one, right? The second one you duplicated. Right click on both of them and then click on merge layers. Now press on Ctrl plus D again to duplicate and then this time around decrease the duplicated image like this and then decrease the size. Alright, now with the image selected on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus T, right click on it and then click on flip horizontal to change the position or the side which the image is really facing and then put it right here like this good now select the bigger image which is this one all right select this one and then go to your eraser tool select your eraser and then decrease the size good and then get rid of the on this part like this Now go to your shapes, select the rectangle tool, and then draw a rectangle shape right here like this. Good. Let's decrease the size. Now let's see the color. Good. Now let's reduce the opacity to 70. Then put it right here. Alright, now click on this guy here. And then change this to 50%. Sorry, 50. And then press on enter. Now on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus G to duplicate the shape. So let's increase the opacity to 100. Now let's turn off this and then give it a stroke of the same color and then change this to this. Good. Now increase the size and then bring it right here like this. Good. Now rasterize it. Go to your lasso tool and then get rid of this parts press and delete on the keyboard and then deselect good now go back to your shapes again and this time around select the ellipse tool and draw a circular shape like this now let's change the color to yellow can increase it a little bit Press on Ctrl plus J to duplicate and then drag it down like this. Sorry. Good. Now let's head over to our text and then add our text. Let's position it right in the middle like this. Good. Let's go back again. All right, now click on the first text, the happy birthday text. Press on Ctrl plus G to duplicate. And then drag it down like this. And then change the text. Good. Now you are left with one more text to add. So Ctrl plus J again. And then let's change it to 
the dates to see things like this. Let's increase the size. Then let's change the font size. So I've the font to stretch pro, right? Now let's change the color. So I'm going to sample um this color here. The color on the shirts. Okay. It's okay. Let's put it right here. Awesome. All right. Now head over to your shape and then select the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle shape like this. And then change the color to be yellow. So this is the um the color code here. Right, then put it on top of the cipher name. Right click on it, click on sorry, yeah, click on rasterize layer. And then go to your eraser tool, select the eraser tool, increase the size. And let's get rid of the middle parts. Good. All right, now at this moment, we are almost done with our flyer, but we are left with two more things to go to most important things as far as this flyer is concerned. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I will urge you to hit on that subscribe button, like this video, drop your comment, and then share this tutorial to your friends and families who you think might benefit from this tutorial. Thank you so much for doing so. And now, the next thing you are going to do is to head over to our folder and then drag and drop this image right here like this. Good. Now let's drag it down. It should be on top of the of this image, the bigger one, right? Now with the image selected, come to this place and then change the option from normal to soft light. Now go to your user tool. First, let's rasterize the image and then increase the size of the image. Sorry, the eraser tool. Now let's get rid of the edges. Good. Now let's put it right here. Increase the size a little bit. All right. The next thing we are going to do is to select this image. Sorry, let's lock the image you just imported. Now select this image on your keyboard. Press on Control plus J to duplicate. Now after pressing after pressing Control plus J, you will realize that we have two images here. So select the lower one, the original one. Increase the size and then bring it to this side. And then click on this guy. Now head over to your image. Click on adjustment. And then click on threshold like this. Alright. And then you can leave this at 128. Click on OK. Now let's move it right below this image right here. You can bring it like this. Alright, now select the image with threshold. Alright, and then click on the eraser tool. And then you can choose to decrease the size or increase it a little bit. Now let's get rid of the lower part because it is showing right here. So let's get rid of it. And there we have our flyer.